Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can record audio using C Sharp. Let's get right into it. So firstly, in Visual Studio, you're going to need to go over to your project in the Solution Explorer. And you're going to need to right click on your project and then go to Manage NuGet Packages. Then you're going to want to search for N Audio because we'll be needing this to record audio. Then you're going to see some options. Just click on the one that says N Audio and you'll see an install button here. Just click on the install button to install the package into your C Sharp project. Your .NET version needs to be 4.5 or higher. Once you've installed it, you can close the package manager and get back to coding. So at the top of your code, you need to do using system and using naudio.wave. Then at the start of our main method, we're going to do console.writeline, please enter a file name. Then we're going to do string file name equals console.readline. Then we're going to do file name plus equals .wav. Then we're going to do console.writeline, press any key to start recording and console.read key. This is simple stuff. We are asking for user to enter a name where we're going to save our recording. Then we're going to put on a .wav file extension onto the end of the file name. Then we're going to tell the user, press a key to start recording. And then we're basically going to be detecting for a key input. Then we're going to do var wave format equals new wave format 44,101. And this line specifies the audio format for the recording by setting the sample rates to 44,100 and setting the channel count to mono, which is one channel. If you put in a two, unless your audio setup is equipped for multiple channel recording, you're going to hit the recording only on one side or in one ear, which you probably don't want. And this frequency is quite standard for good quality audio. Then we're going to do using var wave file equals new wave file writer file name and wave format. So this line creates a wave file writer object that will write the recorded audio to the specified file using the defined wave format. The using statement ensures the wave file object is disposed of correctly when we finished using it. Then inside the curly brackets of our first using statement, we're going to do another using statement. We're going to be doing using var wave in equals new wave in event. And this line creates a wave in event object to handle the audio recording from the microphone. And like before, the using statement ensures the wave in object is disposed of correctly when we're done using it. Then we're going to do wave in dot wave format equals wave format. And this line sets the audio format of the wave in object to the previously defined wave format. Then we're going to do wave in dot data available plus equals S E equals arrow. And then we're going to do wave file dot write e dot buffer zero e dot bytes recorded and these are in curly brackets or a semicolon at the end you could put all of this on one line but i find it easier to read when you have multiple lines so basically when we started recording whenever the wave in object is told that the microphone has captured some more audio data it's going to then broadcast that event and we want to then essentially write that data whenever it's detected audio. After that, we're then going to do wave in .start recording, And this line starts the audio recording process using the wave in object. And we're going to print out recording, press any key to stop. And then we do console.read key. After that, we do wave in .stop recording and console.write line recording stopped. So basically, once we hit any key, this line of code will get executed. And this just stops the audio recording process and then we let the user know. And then underneath both of the using statements outside of their curly brackets, we can do console.write line audio recorded and saved as plus file name. And that's all you need to do for this tutorial. So the code will be in the description below for you to copy and paste if you want to just do that. But we're going to save our work and hit play. So we need to enter a file name. I'll do this tutorial test. And then it says, press any key to start recording. So I'm going to hit the enter key again. And it says recording, press any key to stop. So I am just talking right now. And this has been saved to a web file, which will be called tutorial test. So now I'm going to press any key again to stop. And it says recording stop. And then the program closes because I didn't put a console.read key after this print line statement, but that doesn't matter. 
So, in Visual Studio, you can right click on your project and go to Open Folder in File Explorer. Then you want to go to your bin folder, then your debug folder. And scroll down, and as you can see, you'll see a web file. So when you just give a file name for where you want to store your file, your web file, it will just store it next to where the program runs. So as you can see, we have Record Audio C Sharp N Audio, which is the name of our project. And this is where it's run when we hit that play button. So it puts the tutorial test.wav right here. And we're going to open it up. And it says recording, press any key to stop. So I am just talking right now, and this has been saved to a web file, which will be called tutorial test. So now I'm going to press any key again to stop. And as you can hear, it recorded what I said. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.